over here with us today. He's going to be helping me cook some. Um, today will be the first day that we include our clue words. So, we'll start off with our first one. Hey, that wasn't loud enough, was it? Let's do it louder. That's better. First clue word of this episode is low. L-O-W. Low. Okay. We got that out of the way. We'll do the other two clues later on. And let's see here. We're going to be doing some carne asada burritos. Yeah, um, steak burritos, actually. So let's hope it works out well. We'll start off with uh, my assistant. He's going to be handing me everything. Okay, first up, we will need to add a little bit of olive oil to our pan. I don't really see that when you do a video. Yeah, you need some sort of a lubricant in the pan. Okay, next up. Do you want to hand me the meat? Thank you, sir. We got thin strips of beef. Hmm, not quite hot enough yet. I'm going to turn it ridiculously high, and then I'll turn it back down just so we can get up to speed quickly. Anyway, okay. Today we're actually going to post two videos. Yesterday I was busy with some other stuff. So this is actually yesterday, the 15th, November 15th video. Later on this afternoon, I'll post November 16th video. Um, eh, that one will be a little bit different. I think that's actually going to be our uh, trailer. Anyway, no big deal. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if we got any sizzle yet. It sounds wrong. Yeah, we're almost there. Just a few more minutes. Okay. Um. I think we're about there. Okay. This gets you popping and sizzling too much. Rudy picked us up a nice little screen to put over the top of it to prevent all the splattering and everything. But I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're going in okay. Let's pull them all in and spread them out a bit. All right, Mr. Assistant, put that in the sink, please, carefully. Yeah, it looks like I'm doing most of the splattering this time. Okay, this should take about, eh, oh, who knows, anywhere from four to six minutes. Um, we started off with our stove top clock back here at uh, 12.57, so anywhere from one till three minutes after the hour, we'll be ready. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put our... Taco seasoning in. Thank you, Mr. Assistant. And how about with a uh, Walmart brand Chipotle taco seasoning this time? Dad, what's the you on? And it smells really good. What's the you on, the bag? First one.
Just a moment. Uh, let's see here. This is actually going to be a fairly short video, so we'll uh, see where we end up here in just a minute. Okay. Now we're going to be using uh, poblano uh, peppers for this. Uh, I never saw them the entire time I was in the Philippines. But they're really close to bell pepper or green pepper. So yeah, it's an effective substitute. Now bear in mind that some poblanos are actually hot and spicy, but most of the time they're pretty mild, just like a bell pepper. Uh, okay. Okay, it looks like the meat's about done. We're going to go ahead and add our poblanos and a little bit of salt with it. Yeah, for, leave it for a couple of minutes until they can soften up a little bit. Here you go, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we need to add a little salt. So. I'll start a quarter teaspoon. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> and if anybody's wondering, we have the uh, spatula on standby over here, and if I get overwhelmed or get too far behind, I can't keep up with these tongs, I'll go to the spatula, but when possible, I, I don't dirty the extra dish. Okay. 
Yep. Like Julia Child says, what they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> Not worried about it, we just cleaned the stove off right before we did the video, so we started the video. Okay. Okay, is that looking pretty good, bud? Yeah. Smell good? Yeah. Mmm, smell good indeed. Okay. And it looks like those are softening up rather nicely. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and put our others in here. Take those away because it's ink for me, buddy. Okay. And that really took it up a few notches there. The part smell goes. And it smells lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. All right. And that's about all we needed for now. Okay, real quick. Our second clue word. Gap. G-A-P. Gap. Okay. Now we're gonna go over here and start working on our tortillas. A um, couple of different ways you can do tortillas. Some people say wrap them in a, a, a wet cloth, paper towel, or whatever. Me, I found a long time ago that simply placing them in a plastic bag works great. Or reheating them. Hey, hey. We get them in here. Now we will mostly seal it, but we don't want to seal it completely. You need just a little bit of room left here. I've sealed all the way across the rest of it. We'll leave the last inch or two free. Try prepping one of these over here, and we'll go down a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is throw a tortilla on there first. Mm, 
nice and hot. And extremely flexible. Okay. First up, we're gonna use some cheese. Yeah. I think I'll grab this Fiesta cheese. Let's see. I'm gonna pull this in a little bit. Since we're doing burritos, I have to leave myself enough room to be able to fold here. So we want to kind of sort of focus it in on that area there. Okay. And for anybody who wants to see there, this was our filling. I'll pull it all to one side, divide this into two for two. Big tortilla, or well, burritos, excuse me, carne asada burritos. Chipotle. One of our two. We will do another one real quick. much of this out as I can because they recommend just wiping out the pan and using the same one again. And I'm actually good with that, but we have to get a little bit of burnage going on. That's okay, we can live with it. Okay. Good enough for now. Okay, let's turn that heat back on. 
Hmm. Right, let's see how we're doing here. It looks like we got a little too much on this one, so I'm going to transfer a bit back over. And let's see where are we going here. Okay. And again, for the record, I use entirely too much of that olive oil. Even when I'm making quesadillas, I use a lot. Okay, we got our sides folded in. Flip the top, or the bottom, up towards the top, and then we roll it. And the great thing about putting them in that microwave is it gives them a little bit of a sticky texture. So they'll hold their shape there. It looks so yummy. Mm -hmm. It looks so yummy. It does. It does look very yummy. Okay, pull that back in. Pull their size in. And roll it the rest of the way here. Okay. Now we've got these two ready to go in the pan as soon as they warm up a little bit. Okay, looks like it's nice and hot now. Let's go ahead and put these in. We'll put them seam side down, okay? down just a little bit to give it a more of a wide sort of um, I guess I should turn this back up I pressed them down just a little bit to give them more of a wide browning on it and everything and we'll just give it about 30 seconds or I don't know 30 seconds or a minute on each side no big deal seconds to a minute to go. Which means that we've got enough time. We can turn that off for now. Put away our salt and our olive oil. 
and get a few things ready for toppings. pretty much it. What we're going to do is throw a little bit of uh, enchilada sauce on top of them along with some uh, sour cream. Plenty of cheese in it already. And if we feel like we need it, we may throw a little bit more um, salsa on top. No big deal. Okay, for your last clue word of the day. Last clue word is road. Okay, that's, uh, that's it for a few minutes. Let me go ahead and uh, pause while we get these set up and we'll give you the taste test results in just a moment. Okay, we're back with Zabby and Batman, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, they have theirs for their taste test. Um, okay, boys, give it a go and tell me what you think. One to 10 ranking, what do we got? That's it for us. We'll give you guys another one later on. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.